it's always interesting to see that no matter how far out there things get, um, the work does generally fall into several categories. So there were quite a few landscapes, um, portraits, figurative work. There was quite a bit of abstract work, both painting and sculpture, which was nice to see. Um, I would really like to see more sculptors mm -hmm. in uh, a greater range of sculptural work. Um, Absolutely. The, I know that uh, we had some discussions about that and, and how difficult that can be, um, but that was the, the one arena that was maybe somewhat lacking. As a sculptor, I would love to have seen more sculpture. Um, we know it's out there. <laughs> and I also want to say that there's lots of really good, well-executed work that we didn't include in the exhibition because we were specifically looking for work that was pushing the boundaries in one way or another. Um, so any, so you know, work that we felt was really staying true to a specific style and not maybe doing something unique or new or taking an idea in a direction that we hadn't seen before. Um, while it's perfectly legitimate work, we didn't necessarily include it in the exhibition. Having spent time in Utah prior to my life, uh, it was really fascinating to come back and, and see what was happening in the landscape here. Um, there were definitely things that uh, I, I felt I recognized um, uh, and some works that I absolutely did recognize. So uh, that says a lot about the um, quality here. It was fun. What a great opportunity to look at a huge body of really well executed work. Um, so another nice way to spend the day. <laughs> we could be outside where it's just pristine and perfect, but we're in, inside looking at artwork, which we <laughs> love more than anything. Yeah, so thank you for all your hard work, all your submissions. It was really a pleasure.